Today on Beyond. She did everything for her father. Now she feels abandoned. I feel like my biggest fan isn't here. Will she feel the love she needs from her father again? Plus, are things about to get hot in this woman's kitchen? They're talking about getting a new dishwasher. Is this it is cute? A dishwasher. Oh. <laughs> you are too much. Today on Beyond. Using his extraordinary psychic ability to communicate with spirits, he's transformed lives by unlocking mysteries and sharing secrets from the other side. James Van Prague, best-selling author, renowned medium, and your connection to the world beyond. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here. I want to welcome you all here today, especially you at home, okay? So I'd like to begin. Is there someone here who is either going to an art opening, a gallery opening, either having the work displayed in a gallery opening, or going to go see an opening of gallery of artwork? Right. Was there someone who was just at a gallery and looked at some paintings? Oh. All of you did. Well, who else? You guys did? OK. Hold on. Well, did you want to buy? We think, oh, God, I wish you could buy something like this. It would be beautiful. There we are. You're all connected somehow. I don't know. Your friends or something? We're yeah. sisters, and she's my friend. All right. Would you two stay on, please? Yeah. There's someone who passes with, a, passes with a cancerous condition that I'm picking up here. I know who this person is. Is that your father that passes this, up, please? Because he comes with a cancerous condition, and that's how he passes, OK? And he's bringing this up first. This is what he wants to talk about first, up front, because he never thought he was going to get the big C. And that's how he puts it, <laughs> the big C. And that's how he's saying it to me, OK? There's a grandmother figure with him, so it's your grandmother would be there with him, his mother, and she wants to come in and give love to both of you. I don't know if your father used to like Cadillacs, or had to drive a Cadillac car. <laughs> if any child who remembers about Cadillacs, driving Cadillac cars. He was always with big cars. cars. And so I see Mercedes Cadillac cars. Well, I see Cadillac that. car, mm -hmm. big Buicks. I'm seeing this sort of thing here, yeah, very strong, OK? Um, I don't want you to be scared for your kids, because you're very scared for your sons. Let it go. They'll be fine. Okay. I don't There's something about them leaving you, or separation coming up from you in some way. I don't know what that means. I don't know if they're going on a trip somewhere, or there's with their friends or something. Do not worry about it. It's going to be fine, OK? This weekend. This weekend. <laughs> there you go. They're going to be OK. Don't worry about it. There's someone that walks like this in spirit. One leg is shorter than the other. I'm not sure if it was your father, or there was a grandparent who had a leg shorter than the other, or they, when they walk. My um, mother-in-law. OK. Was there one leg shorter than the other, or would you have a hip? She had a hip problem, and her bones were OK, because I see her like this. Yes. But I'm just seeing the legs walking like this. Yeah, I know you loved her. You loved her, I know. I know there's just love for you, too. There's love for you there as well. I know who got the new dishwasher, who needs a new dishwasher. I was talking about getting a new dishwasher. <laughs> Do you know the, 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 Is the, it the, cute? A dishwasher. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you are too much. <laughs> You know, you have wonderful energy. You both do. Thank you. you do. You're changing so much right now. You're in such a cycle of change. And I'm telling you that good things are going to happen finally for you because you've had a very tough time. It's yeah. been a very tough life for you. It really has. And the tears that you, they're telling me that the tears that you once had are going to be swept away because now you're letting in no. more light and joy because you're starting to love yourself. You know, you're a typical person who looks at other people for their, uh, their expect, you know, what people expected of you and what you thought you should be instead of who you are, and now you're finally coming into that. God bless Thank you. We'll leave you. with that. Thank, okay? Thank you. Because he never thought he was going to get the big C, and that's how he puts <laughs> it, the big C. James talked about your dad had the big C, and yes. the way he said it was very strange. Did you connect with that? He did not expect to have cancer. He never thought that he would have cancer. Europeans don't have cancer. So when he said that, it was affirming that it was my dad, you know, yeah. he, he passed away of cancer. Big Buicks, I'm seeing this sort of thing here, yeah. very strong. He always was after big cars. He changed cars all the time. Mm -hmm. Like four months later, five months later, he would get a new car. 
and there were big cars. I don't want you to be scared for your kids because you're very scared for your sons. <laughs> I thought it was so funny. My son came over last night. He's in college, and he um, gave me a hug. And I said, "So, what are you doing this weekend? It's a long weekend." And he said, "I'm going out camping with my friends, college friends." So when he said, "Don't worry," because when I gave him a hug, I just I was so scared, and I, I just you know say a quick prayer that he'll be all right. And when he says, "Don't worry, he'll be all right," then I felt better. You're changing so much right now. You're in such a cycle of change. Pretty much all my life, I've taken care of other people, my children, I've sacrificed, and I've, I've never taken care of myself, and I'm just beginning to do that now. And it's become more important to me to just take care of myself and to do the things that I want to do in my life that I've never done before. <laughs> There's someone that walks like this in spirit, one leg is shorter than the other. He mentioned a lady that was limping and had hip problem. And that's my mother-in-law that just passed away a year ago. You loved her, I know. I know this. She's love for you, too. She never got to tell me she loves me, but I knew in my heart that she did. And when he told me that, it just really reaffirmed that, that I knew in my heart that she did, and it really, it really touched me. It really did. Thank you both. Thank, Thank you. you. Coming up. Four young women tried to pick up the pieces of their shattered lives. He really hung in there for me, and it's important to me that I feel that he was okay to go on. Can they go beyond the pain? Plus... He always had the ability to reduce me to being a baby again, and I just, I, I, I need to feel that again. She wants to be daddy's little girl once more. Will James make it happen? Find out next on Beyond. Our next guest loved her father so much, she raised $10,000 to fly him on a medical jet so he could die at home. She was devastated when her father passed away one hour before they were scheduled to leave. The piece you're about to see was taped before the show. No one in our studio, including James, has seen it. This is Jamie's story. I'm trying to contact my dad, James Wheeler, and he remains special to me because I was the baby of the family, and he always had the ability to reduce me to being a baby again, no matter what circumstance or what age, and I just, I, I, I need to feel that again. Dad passed from complications arising from bladder cancer. And I feel like my biggest fan isn't here. If James is able to make contact with my dad today, I need to know that he felt a little bit of the unconditional love that I gave him every minute until he was gone. Hi, you're Hi. Jamie. I am. Hi, Jamie. I love your name. I That's like my name, so <laughs> we have it in common. I know you lost your dad? Yes. Okay. How long ago did your dad pass over? Today is the... Anniversary? Seven-month anniversary. Okay. 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 Well, let me see what I can do, and hopefully I can reach him for you okay. and, and make contact. I hope I can. Um, so let's see what we get, all right? Okay. Are you okay? I am. All right, sweetie. Don't <laughs> worry. I'm here with you. Okay. Okay? Your father's mother's in spirit as well, please? Yes. Because I have a grandmother figure standing right here, and she says she's your father's mother, and she's the one who greets him when, when he goes over, okay? All right, he's coming in here, but um, he's right here. Okay. He's here with people, though, and his mother. He's, and a big smile comes on this man's face. Um, he's known for his smile, by the way, and sparkle in his eyes. That's why I describe this man. <laughs> he's always worried about giving you enough money, <laughs> making sure you have enough money, he talks yes. about. He said, I just want to make sure you have enough money. Always. And that's his big thing, is making sure you have enough money all take, make sure you're taken care of. That's right. And that was his concern all the time, he's telling that's me right. here, okay? That's right. Mm -hmm. He said, <laughs> he's funny. He said, they told him there he has to talk fast and he has to talk quickly and loud so that this man, me, can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to tell him to slow down because he's okay. talking way too fast. He's talking about a Michael, with the name of Mike or Michael. I don't know if this what that means okay. with I'm, him. I'm not certain I will right tell now. you there's someone that meets him with that name when he passes over. I see a bunch of buddies with him, by the way. And I also would tell you that there's either a hospital stay with this man or there's a hospital bed or there's, you know, because I'm sitting in a hospital right. bed, right? Right. So this is what he's showing me, okay? Right. I also want to thank you for adjusting up 
I don't know, fluffing up pillows, or and it keeps on giving me an image of you putting extra pillows there yeah. to make them prop them up. Right. And he said she used to do that to me. Yeah. And he used to come there all the time, all the time. All okay. The time. And also, I will tell you that what means the most sometimes we take for granted, not until we pass into the spirit world, do we realize that the things that you tried to make him feel good, because he said you tried making him feel really good when he was sick. He was like very ill and he was out of it and he was in pain a lot. Right. And you tried telling him good things and happy things and right. fun things right. and make him feel better even though he was in that situation. Okay? That's right. I know that you were very, um, he's talking about how you cared about every last detail of his funeral, of the arrangement, and you would like every single detail as far as flowers go, as far as what it looks like, where the place was, the plot or whatever it was, and you had to make sure it was the place that daddy would like. And he's just going on here how you pay attention to detail like that. That was a big part of it, okay? And he is so, he's moved by that. You did that, okay? And I will tell you that he sees you crying there, going there and seeing by yourself and crying, yeah. okay? And um, he's right with you when you do that. He's right with you when you do that, okay? Um, go on. I don't know what's, he's talking about a new, new place of living or a new movement of a new house or a new place. I'm not sure if you're going to be doing that, or you were thinking about doing that before he passed over. My and mother. Oh, your mother. Are you right? Are you talking now about finding a place for her to live, or trying to look for a place? She put the house up for sale and bought a condo. Just recently. Yes. Good. Love that. Yeah. He loves it. He was he was pushing for that to be done. Yes. And I also want to ask you: Are you near water where you live? Yes. Because he keeps on talking about being with you around the water, and you keep on going there. Do so you go keep going there, thinking it's it's where he is? He's telling me that when you're sitting by the water, he's, you're going to feel him. I did. So, okay. Okay. Well, that was your sign. And you're going to continue to. If you go again, he will feel that. Okay? I want you to also be paying very close attention behind you okay. when you're by yourself. It seems he can connect with you when you're by yourself. When there are other people around, he can't. Their energies must influence it. But there's a little coldness or a breeze, and it's right behind you, and he said it's him coming to you. Okay. And touching you right here. Okay. Okay? All right, sweetie. I hope that helps. Okay, good. Thank you. He's always worried about giving you enough money. What was the meaning of dad being worried about you not having enough money? Is that true? Does that ring true for you? Um, always wanted to know that no one was strapped or um, hurting in any way financially. All of our bills were paid and we were stable and, and had extra money. Are you talking now about finding a place for her to live or trying to look for a place? Right before he got ill, he said, I want you to go around with your mother and look at condos. And I didn't really like that idea just because I didn't like what it was signifying in his voice. And, he, and I said, Mom would be okay. And he said, no, just make sure your mother doesn't um, live bad. And you go with her and you help her pick it out. He's talking about how you cared about every last detail of his funeral. Dad had made wishes to the children that are older and my mother who he's married to for 40 years that he was so simple he wanted no funeral. He didn't want anything like that. I did say that that was unacceptable and that I would have a celebration of life and um, every detail I planned. And that was my last time that every detail in his care, his memory, his tribute was done by me. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up. He said, don't do this to yourself. Stop beating yourself up. Four young women lost the men they loved. Desperate for answers, will James give them what they need to love again? Find out next on Beyond. Previously on Beyond. What we have in common is we all lost the men in our lives that we loved. I know that you put a single rose in a vase. Um, at his grave. It's okay with him that you meet other people. Mm. Understand? Now, part two. He was just a great guy. I mean, he was just the best friend I ever had. It's tough when your partner and the person that you love is looking at you saying, I'm sorry, because they're going to die. And it's just rough. 
So he really hung in there for me. And it's important to me that I feel that he was OK to go on. There's a J initial here for a man who's coming in here. I'm not sure if it's your husband or boyfriend. I don't know if it's George Jordan. J. J George. It is J. J. Period. <laughs> Well, his parents, mother and father separated also in some way. Father passed over? Father passed because over. Because he's talking about being with my dad. When I came over there, my dad came to greet me. And you knew that, he said. And he said, um, I want you to know that. He's just validating that you would know that. And there was a decision about that. Where should we bury him? Should we have our own place, or should we put him with that dad? I wanted his ashes. OK. But you didn't do that, OK? And he said she wanted to do that not to make a riff with the family. Does he have dolls? Did he collect any kind of puppets or, or <laughs> action bar? figures? Oh, okay. GI Joe and then yes, the GI Joe, yes. Okay, and um, were there shelves? He keeps giving me shelves yes. of all these action figure shelves. Yes, they were everywhere. <laughs> yes, they were in front of our bed. They drove me insane. <laughs> You know, when he comes in, I feel like I can't breathe with him. Mm. And I'm like <gasps> gasping for breath. So I don't know what that means. How did he pass over? He had cancer. Okay. And he, was, he couldn't breathe the last week. Okay. And he said, don't worry about, she worries about the silly things. You worry about the silly things that you didn't do for him when he was alive. And he said she beats herself up over not saying this when I was alive, and not doing this for me, or I could have been kinder, I could have been just, he said, don't do this to yourself. Stop beating yourself up. He doesn't want you to do that to yourself. You understand? I don't know what is in August, if there's something in August. Very important to August. I don't know. There's a trip coming in August, or there's a place you're going to be going in August. Yeah. You understand? It's his mom. Thank you. It's his mom. OK, but he wants you to know that he's going to be there in August with you. Okay. With that situation, I guess, with his mom. He's going to be there with you. And that's going to be a happy occasion. And he wants me to tell you, watch for me. He's going to be there. I understand that. Mm -hmm. When he was in the hospital, did you have a picture? Did you bring a picture? Oh my god, yes. I brought a picture of me where I was topless. <laughs> Okay. It was cut off. <laughs> <laughs> and I snuck it into him <laughs> so that when he opened something, he would see. Well, he's talking about that picture when you brought into him. When he was sick, the hospital. What? It made me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> it was very Jay. It was very how he was, how he spoke, how he felt. The man's coming here with initial J. That was very specific for me because Jay felt really strongly about being Jay, period. He could give me shelves, yes. all these action figures, shelves. Yes, they were everywhere. <laughs> he was extremely proud of them, and I'm not surprised that one of the first things that James mentioned were the dolls or, you know, the action figures. When he was in the hospital, did you have a picture? Did you bring a picture? Oh, my God. I brought him a picture that he had taken of me that was, um, uh, a provocative shot. <laughs> it's been almost three years, and I wanted to hear from Jay. It's very important that in order to move on that I hear from him. It's very overwhelming right now, but I think it'll become very, very helpful to me. Tomorrow on Beyond. I see them holding hands, looking down at the car crash. They were found with their hands together. His wish for you is that you'd please forgive him. I was really amazed. There was more information that came out than I ever anticipated. If you'd like to be part of the Beyond Show audience and have a chance for a reading with James, call our toll-free number, 1-866-88-JAMES, or go to our website at thebeyondshow.com. Well, you know, I have a few questions for you. Good questions are always Watching good. your readings, it yeah. seems to me that you connect with these spirits, and then they sort of give you insignificant information, sort of like 
You're going to get a new dishwasher or the shelves need to be fixed. Why is it they don't say something earth shattering, some major huge piece of information? Well, first of all, you have to understand that the way they communicate has to be in symbols and has to be in small little bits of things that people would understand. And they're able to get it through very, very quickly. Many of the things that come through it sound very insignificant to us. The person receiving that information, it could be incredible to them. I see. If they got to the dishwasher, if the thing fell off the shelf. It's really to let them know they're around them and also validate that they are still alive, that the connection is still there. And so many times you'll get things like you never expect, but the names are detailed, about how they died. And I mean, it's very amazing. And part of the stuff I love doing is you never know what you're going to get. You never know what's going to come through also.